We pray that Daryl and his family are blessed with great health and that Daryl has the ability to enjoy his retirement with the same spirit and enthusiasm he has brought to the county in the last two decades. Daryl, it was remember its people and its process. And that, that has been his calling card. And uh, there's been times when I've had problems with the process. <laughs> and, <laughs> but I've always respected Daryl and always respected the leadership that I was able to serve my 14 years under uh, here, 15 years uh, on the board. Uh, Daryl, uh, the thing that encourages my heart is that you will take this experience and, and uh, you're always seeking further education, upgrading your education, that you're going to share that with the next generation. And God bless you in your opportunities of, uh, of teaching and, and sharing about the experience that's been kicked on. Thank you for your service. Great place. So thank you for your honesty, integrity, and, and the way you went about doing your job every day. I appreciated the 12 and a half years I was uh, here to serve with you. And best of luck in your, in your future, in your next chapter in your life, whatever that may hold. And I hope you enjoy your son. Fisher Morgan. Hey, Daryl, I remember when Pat Malone was recruiting you to leave uh, Rockford. I was involved in that party. I, I think you'll remember it. Um, and all the practical jokes that I've pulled on you over the years, I don't regret any of them. <laughs> yeah, good luck, Daryl. And uh, I think I worked with him for seven years, wasn't it? Seven, I think, with in chair. And, oh, yeah. and we didn't always agree, but we always agreed to disagree on some things. So good luck. Commissioner Bukowski. Thank you, Daryl. Um, my quick reflection is that, um, yeah, five years ago I was but a community advocate. Um, and, and to say you, you didn't treat me any differently after election than before. It's always respect, honor, um, not always agreement, but respect and honor, and I thank that. Um, my only regret is that I haven't been able to convince my colleagues to raise our um, base millage, that 0 .04 mills, uh, to, to, to just a few more dollars to focus on capital and, and unfunded liabilities. But I'm going to keep working on that with your replacement. So uh, thank you so much. More than 25 years ago, I think, Daryl, I don't know if you remember that, we were on a government total quality management group that, you know, was kind of ahead of its time, innovative. We weren't talking about that a lot in government at the time. So when you were in Rockford, and uh, I knew at that point um, that when we hired you, that, that quality piece was what we were going to see, that, that you had a heart for that. Um, so I want to I acknowledge um, how far that goes back, but I also, um, as someone from the minority party, you want to recognize that you've always treated all of us, including me, with the same kind of uh, respect and um, responded just like everyone else. And, I, and that's significant for um, people in a role like yours. And I want to acknowledge that and appreciate it. And thank you for the many times that you've just been willing to openly, openly speak with me. Um, so thank you. and. Uh, Good luck. It'll be fun. Is uh, again uh, my congratulations to Daryl as well. Um, I wish you all the best, and my expressions of sympathy to your successor because you set the bar. <laughs> <laughs> um, my teacher always said, "There's no dumb questions," so I will relabel some questions out of sync questions. One thing. <laughs> I learned watching you, Daryl, is when someone asks you an out of sync question, it's like, our commission faces might change a little. Even one of the questions I ask, I might notice the other commissioners. But Daryl, you always keep a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> and I love those little two seconds when you hear those out of sync questions and you sit there with no facial change but you honor everybody with so much respect and you honor those questions with respect. And I've also noticed in six months, seldom with all the big questions that come to you, seldom do you have to look through your papers for uh, the numbers or the policy. And I, I'm just learning so much for you. I just wish I had you for another six months or another six years. Uh, I just, 
want to thank you for your service. And I really appreciate the legacy that you're leaving with us and um, the way that you have, you know, set us up to for the future and um, with our budget and with um, all the things that we have going on and that are going well in Kent County. It's definitely something that you have touched. And I really appreciate the work that you've done. Um, I sure hope, you know, with all the time that you'll have that you'll be able to come back to our future meetings and maybe, you know, share some public comment from time to time <laughs> on your thoughts and opinions. But enjoy your retirement and I hope it's, you know, wonderful. Thank you. It's our final meeting, unless I call a special meeting. <laughs> no. Which I, yeah. no, I think we should. Just which, I have, which I have uh, feel like doing just to have you have another yeah. meeting. But it's our final meeting for uh, our longtime yeah. county administrator, Daryl DeLabio, who is retiring at the end of this month. And uh, there's going to be a lot of tributes coming up here. Uh, as you know, we have. Uh, uh, the 27th, we have uh, a recognition for, for him within the county. But, uh, you know, it's been, I've been on the board uh, seven years, and all I can say is that it's been nothing but professional. Uh, uh, just the, the service level is outstanding. There, it, it's, it's honest. You can trust work to get done. You know that you're being, um, never getting, uh, any kind of uh, agenda or whatever in the questions that you ask Daryl and it's just uh, pure class and I just will uh, really miss you because you're, you're not only a good administrator you're a good friend and uh, I'm going to have Mandy read a proclamation that we have there is some pretty important information in here that uh, some of us new people might might not know, and I think that this is probably the least we can do. And obviously, <coughs> all our feelings and, and um, all the work you've done is not contained in this one little proclamation. Um, but whereas Daryl DeLabio, PhD, has dedicated more than four decades of his life to public service and has held the Kent County Administrator Controller role since 1998, after three years as assistant county administrator, and whereas Daryl has mentored the customer service, management, and leadership skills of countless employees in his tenure, Daryl considers his in-house training programs and the formation of Cultural Insight Council among his greatest achievements. Daryl has was part of an initial group of community leaders who worked with Grand Action in the state of Michigan to make the DeVos Place Convention Center a success. And Daryl has worked closely with Experience Grand Rapids, The Right Place, and other organizations that promote our region on a national and international platform. Daryl and his staff are focused on financial stability, helping Kent County receive a AAA bond rating from Standard & Poor's and Moody's, Moody's Investor ser Services for 19 consecutive years, including several years when the national economy struggled. Daryl has nurtured a spirit of collaboration and relationship building among the county, townships, and cities, as well as leaders from across the state, and served in leadership roles such as MAC, International City County Management Association, and Daryl will retire on June 30th, 2017, and is seated at his last Board of Commissioners meeting today. Therefore, be it resolved that the Kent County Board of Commissioners hereby proclaims that June 22nd be recognized as Daryl DeLabio Day in Kent County, and be it further resolved that yeah. the Board of Commissioners bid Daryl farewell and wish him the best in his upcoming retirement. Yes. Yeah. up my better yeah. three quarters um, <laughs> who's been my uh, wife it'll be 40 years next month so. yeah. and I know she doesn't look 40 I am not <laughs> I am not a uh, uh, cradle robber but uh, uh, just first of all thank you very much um, it's it's been a deep honor for me to be here in Kent County and to close my career here and it's been 40 years in the business. Um, I've tried to, it's interesting, thank you very much, 
Commissioner Antor for that prayer. The first thing I did when I came here as Assistant County Administrator is when I walked in my office, I prayed. And then um, when I walked into the County Administrator's office, I prayed. Um, I'm a good, I'm, I'm a believer. I, sometimes I'm not a good believer, uh, but I do want to thank my God and Savior for We get it. What did Lisa say? Breathe. <laughs> um, uh, for the blessings I've had, um, the top of which is my wife and my three daughters. Um, I've tried to lead the county with honesty and integrity. Um, I've tried to develop and nurture a collaborative county, a learning organization, and a county that is inclusive and, and respects diversity, equity, and inclusion. Uh, it's been a privilege. Um, it's been a true privilege. I often say to everyone that being in the public service is a high calling. I think it's the highest calling. Uh, I'm a little biased about that, but um, I, I respect and appreciate what you do. Um, I respect and appreciate what my colleagues do, and while I'm up here, I, I have to pay tribute to your staff, um, who are remarkable. Uh, I get to stand up here right now, but if I didn't have the staff that I have, and it's not only the staff that, uh, and I'll take credit for hiring most of the, my staff, <laughs> if not all of them, but it's, it's, the, it's the elected department directors, uh, uh, the sheriff, the clerk register, the treasurer, the drain commissioner, prosecuting attorney, the high quality of people that, that are here in Kent County and, and make it a pleasure to work. And I hear from my colleagues from around the state um, and when, I, when I go to a conference and I come back thanking God again for being in Kent County because of the way we treat each other, the way we respect each other and respect our processes. And um, I've said, when I was city manager in Rockford, I was in city manager heaven. I've been in county administrator heaven in Kent County and, and feel very fortunate. So thank you all. Um, it's been a pleasure, it's been an honor. Um, and and uh, I, w I will, I will miss some things. There are some things I may not miss as much. But, uh, uh, God bless you all. Thank you. Yeah. Secondly, uh, reflections on Daryl. I thought I might share this. My first ever interaction with Daryl was before I was on the board. I was actually uh, chairing, or not, I'm not sure I was chairing, I was on the OCC. And I was at one of my meetings and he was there and somebody had showed up and was passing around a paper and there was a reporter sitting next to me and we're passing it around, everybody's looking at it and I put it over there. You know, Daryl is of Italian descent and he likes to wear his emotions on his sleeve and the minute I handed that paper to the reporter, he just is like, oh. You know, you would have thought I had murdered somebody. So. But, uh, but over the years, I learned that, uh, you know, working with Daryl like that, uh, uh, whether it's at the meetings or behind the scenes, and there's a lot of things that we work on, I probably, in the next two, uh, well, I, I wouldn't be surprised if my uh, phone has you as the number one person that I'm calling <laughs> at any, in, in any given uh, week or month. But uh, it, it's just, again, it's been pure class, and I do wish you the best. Finally, it is Daryl DeLabio Day, and even though Commissioner Ponstein was not here, he did get us a cake. So <laughs> as soon as we are adjourned, we will have cake and uh, brief time to celebrate with Daryl. We do have an executive committee meeting that follows that. So I will take a motion to adjourn. I move. Is there support? Support. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Uh, we are adjourned until our next meeting on July 27th.